Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. And we begin with a celebration of that magical math wonder known as Pi. Today, being the third month and the 14th day of the year, it's fun and fitting to recognize a number that begins with 3, 1, and 4. Math lovers know pi is a constant, the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. No matter how big the circle, that ratio always stays the same. 3.14159265, continuing on indefinitely and never repeating. To date, pi has been calculated to more than 100 trillion digits beyond its decimal point. That's all fine and good, but does it get used anywhere but math class? You bet. NASA uses that ratio all the time to put spacecraft into orbit. For those who'd like to give pi a try on their own, the agency has put a challenge up on its website. We've put a link to it on ours at kidnews.org. Pi might come in handy when the DNA of four former U.S. presidents gets launched into the final frontier. According to World at Large, genetic information from George Washington and hair samples from Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan will jettison into the stars later this year on board a deep space time capsule. Joining them, the ashes of Apollo astronaut Philip Chapman and several Star Trek actors. The private company Celestis calls it a trip celebrating both fiction and fact, science and sci-fi. The luminaries will ride aboard a rocket called a Vulcan, and the mission is called Enterprise. Celestis says the Enterprise station will someday be humankind's most distant outpost and will journey endlessly, perhaps awaiting discovery by a distant civilization. No slaps and no real surprises on Oscar night. Everything, everywhere, all at once was the favorite movie going in and coming out. And some of its seven awards were history-making, like that given for star Michelle Yeoh, who became the first Asian woman to take home the statue for Best Actress. Everything also won Best Picture and Best Director, after which the man behind the cameras, Daniel Scheinert, gave a very public shout-out to his grade school teachers, who he said, and we quote, educated me and inspired me and taught me to be less of a butthead. President Biden is doing what he can to reassure Americans that the U.S. banking industry is safe and stable. His early morning press conference yesterday came on the heels of the stunningly fast collapse of California-based Silicon Valley Bank, the nation's 16th largest, and a smaller one, Signature Bank, in New York. The failures have sparked fears of a nationwide money meltdown, with customers making runs on those banks and others to withdraw their savings, just in case. But the president's comments seem to have calmed the crisis, at least for now. Mr. Biden told Americans that they can have confidence that the banking system is safe and that their deposits will be there when you need them. That may be how the cookie crumbles, but Girl Scout troops are none too happy about it. Orders are all backed up due to production issues at Little Brownie Bakers in Kentucky. In a Facebook post, the company said global supply chain issues, local labor shortages, and even unforeseen severe weather have all impacted the selling season but that bakers are working overtime to fill the backlog of orders. According to CNBC, about 75% of local troops are supplied by Little Brownie Bakers. The remaining 25% use ABC Bakers. Bottom line, if you're waiting on those Thin Mints, Tagalongs, or Samoas, you'll likely be waiting just a little bit longer. That's it for Kid News. Now our Kid News Quiz, generously sponsored today by the Lavoys of Park City, Utah, to celebrate a double dose of March birthday fun. Mom, Dad, and Bandit want to wish a happy 7th birthday to Davis and a happy 9th birthday to Wilson. They say you're both curious, kind, and funny, are the best brothers to each other, and that they can't wait to embark on the next year of adventures. Now, today's quiz. The DNA of how many U.S. presidents will be sent skyward in a deep space time capsule? Four. The Oscar-winning director of the movie Everything, Everywhere, All at Once gave a special shout-out to whom in his speech? His grade school teachers. Orders of what seasonal favorite are backed up and delayed? Girl Scout cookies. Pi is the ratio of what to what?
the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And while endless, that number always begins with 3.1415. In today's Kid News Kicker, even though pie has been a known thing for 4,000 years, we didn't start celebrating it until 1988, when physicist Larry Shaw, now known as the Prince of Pie, kicked off an annual pie party at San Francisco's Exploratorium Science Museum. And while you and your classmates spend part of today remembering as many digits of pie as possible, give props to the human record holder. According to the Pi World Ranking List, Suresh Kumar Sharma of India was able to recite 70,030 decimal places from memory back in November of 2015. It took him 17 hours and 14 minutes. Thanks again to the Lavoie family of Park City, Utah, for underwriting today's quiz. Happy birthday to brothers Davis and Wilson, and a big shout out to all their friends and teachers at J.E. Cosgrove School in Salt Lake City. And hello to our other Kid News classrooms, starting with Mrs. Nelson and her Red Wing Wingers at Burnside in Red Wing, Minnesota. Mrs. Johnson and her 6th grade Bucks at Belvedere South Middle School in Belvedere, Illinois. To Texas for Mrs. Hook at Petrenko and San Antonio, where it's a great day to be a Panther. And Ms. Tilo and her Eagles at Argyle High School in Argyle. And Ms. Kim and her Stellar Scholars at Pearl Zanker Elementary in Milpitas, California. Thanks for listening. Please rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.